Hey guys, so today it's time to check out iOS 8.4 Beta 3. So this is the latest and greatest piece of software for the iPhone 5. And here we go, iOS 8.4 and the build number is 12H1498C. And you see there is no newer software updates. So, to be honest and very very direct, this is one of the most boring updates I have ever seen. There is nothing new. The only thing Apple seems to care about right now is their new music app, which they are probably gonna re-release with iOS 9 in a few weeks. So it's kinda weird. And you know, they wanna include Beats Audio and stuff like that. Beats Music. But I really don't care about that music app. I use like Spotify or YouTube, here it is. I don't know, does anybody really use that music app? So, what's really interesting about this update is actually not the features, but the performance and stability. So if you look here, look at how snappy this system has gotten. It's really just great, like... Look. Let's open up some stock apps, App Store. Well, App Store is probably not the most enjoyable experience. It's a little bit slow. But it works. Here we go. It takes its time, but... If you're looking for a particular app, that's okay. So, let's have another look. The Apple Watch app. Camera. Okay, let's take some pictures. Let's put them here. There we go. Look at how snappy it is. Definitely cool. Let's look at the picture. There we go. Cool pictures. A lot of detail. Well, this one is blurry, but usually it's pretty detailed. There, look at this. It's it's very, very good, actually. So let's remove those, and here we go. Now let's, I think, we should do a Geekbench test to test out how good it actually is. In terms of processor speed and stuff like that. So, well, I'm actually very, very happy that Apple release those boring updates and improve stability because you know, iOS 9, is, which will probably be released in a couple of weeks from now, is most likely gonna kill the shit out of this guy. Like, really, look what iOS 8 did to the iPhone 4S or what iOS 7 did to the iPhone 4 Apple seems to kill the phone a year before it officially kills it like they want you to buy a new iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5S and therefore the update sucks like I'm pretty sure that iOS 9 will discontinue the iPhone 4S to make sure that it's worthless like, there will be no updates, you are stuck with iOS 8.4. Or maybe iOS 8.5 if that's gonna be released before iOS 9, but who knows. So this is probably gonna be the worst iPhone to run iOS 9. And here is what it has got. 664, 664 single sc uh, core score, and 1252 multi-core. That's not bad, actually, but, you know, it's not a top model no more. So, let's check out the keyboard. What have we got? Okay, that's actually pretty good. What about the emojis, emojis? Okay, what I like about the iPhone 5 right now is how snappy it is. Where is 
the black Santa. I miss him. My favorite emoji. Here we go. Here he is. Look, very, very snappy experience. User interface is snappy as usual. And damn, it's good. Look, like the notification panel, the control center, the calendar. Look at the calendar. We can scroll down like a hundred years in a few seconds. It's most definitely very, very fluent. Like, if you're looking for mid range cheapo phone, this is, this is your chance to get an Apple device for a few bucks. Like, it's really good. It's not bad. The screen resolution is also good. The iPhone 5 is overall a nice device. Look at the browser. Safari has always been a good one. Like, look at how many tabs I have open. And still, it manages to load things in pretty fast. Maybe we should do a speed test, an internet speed test. Let's make sure we have nothing in here. Speed test. Let's open the Note 4. It's a good competitor. And look at the server. It's Tustrup. And let's do that. Let's just zoom out. There we go. There's no room for the big guy. More room. There we go. And speed test. Okay, so these results are like 10 minutes old. So they're pretty accurate. And you see here, same ping speed. Oh, the download speed is even better. That's pretty surprising, actually. Like that old guy, maybe we should give the Note 4 another chance to show what it got. What it has got. Come on, how do we do that? Restart test. You know, same server, test drop as I chose there. Well, let's see. Okay, better ping speed. What about the download? It seems like the iPhone still got a lead. Oh, that's interesting. What about the upload speed? Okay, the upload speed definitely is a little bit slightly better. But not much. Like, I'm surprised. Shame on you, Samsung. You usually win. But here we go, it seems like the iPhone is still as good as always to acquire speed. And as I said, this is definitely a nice mid-range phone for if you're interested in an iPhone. So I don't think we have forgotten anything, that's just about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And if you want to see more, definitely let me know, leave a comment down below or... Contact me, your my contact info is down below. So, hope you enjoyed once again, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.